Hi guys, it's Tiffany at BMW Gallery again. Um, I know we're a little bit late today because we said yesterday in our video, if you haven't watched it, that we were going to go over the exterior of the 530 today. Um, but, you know, human error once again. I know we talked about that yesterday and things don't always go as scheduled. But I'm here now, I'm in the dealership, and I'm looking for Brandon so that we can figure out what cool things he's able to show us. So as you can see, he's nowhere to be found right now, but I am at the dealership for those of you who have never been there these are where we keep the m cars um and i am on the hunt to find him so if you see him definitely give him a shout out let us know we will answer questions as we go through and as i mentioned yesterday be sure to click follow so that you can keep up with any new updates that we do. We're going to try and make these videos a little bit more semi-regular so that you can get a feel for what's really in our stock and in our inventory and in our cars. As you can see, oh, I think I see him over there. Brandon is one of our favorite product geniuses. He's so knowledgeable about all things BMW. So if you ever get the chance, be sure to stop in at the dealership and ask him any questions that you might have. He's happy to answer all of them. And as you saw yesterday, he's fun, he's friendly, and definitely easy. Hi, Brandon. Hi. How are you today? The camera's on you now. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> so I was telling everybody that yesterday we took a test drive in the 540, and today we're gonna take a look at the 5. 30. So for those of us who maybe aren't completely familiar with what exactly the BMW lineup is, can you tell us like what the difference is between the 530 and the 540 exactly? So the difference is between the 530 and the 540, which we don't have here right now, um, is basically just the engine and a couple of standard features. Uh, so in the 530, like this one, you actually get an inline four cylinder twin power turbo. Uh, which I can show you that if you want to take a yeah. look. Yeah. So we have the four-cylinder. This is brand new for this year in this car. Um, and with this unbelievably efficient engine, you're actually going to get an average 27 miles to the gallon. That's combined, not city or highway. And these LED lights are perfect. Okay. So now... Like I started yesterday, what's the difference between the 2016 and the 2017 as far as body style? So if concerned? you take a peek right over here at any one of these cars, these are all the previous body generation 5 series. All the way from the black one down there to the gray one right here. Okay. These are all the previous body styles. So if you look at these ones compared to the front of the brand new one, you're going to see that the headlights are a completely different design. They're Get wider. Close. They're a little bit skinnier from top to bottom. Mm -hmm. These ones have all LED headlights. These are the adaptive LED icon headlights. Um, now also with the front of the new 5 Series, the grills, you're going to see the kidney grills right here. So they're wider and taller. They're also uh, adaptive active shutters. So that what that means is inside the grill here, there's little flaps that open and close for aerodynamic purposes as well as uh, performance uh, difference. So when they're open, you're going to let more air into the engine for cooling um, as opposed to when you're trying to be super efficient. These are going to be closed so the air just kind of goes around the car like it's supposed to. <laughs> I don't know about you, but to me it looks like it just goes just as fast as we were going yesterday. What about storage? So how's storage on this one? So storage in the new 5 Series, mm -hmm. um, inside and in the trunk, you have a larger back seat in this car than you ever have before. Those lights are so cool too. I know we talked about them on our test drive yesterday, but now you can really see them because it's a little darker in here than it was Also with this yesterday. absolutely beautiful Cognac Dakota leather on the Alpine white exterior. So just take a peek behind the wheel. You get the new adaptive uh, gauges. Ready? I'm inside and a very familiar steering wheel as well. This steering wheel design is right out of the new 7 Series. So it's definitely that luxury that everybody looks for. In Absolutely. BMW. What's really cool about it too, right here, yeah. there's contrast stitching that actually matches the stitching on the seats. I mean, guys, look. It's just, it's awesome. There's 
You also have a leather stitch dashboard as well. And all the interior lights are LED now. Cool. And what about trunk space? I know we didn't get a chance to take a look at that yesterday. So why don't we close so, up the doors real quick. Right. And we can go over to the trunk. And you can check this out. So this is something that was on the old uh, 5 Series, but is also on the new one. You okay. can actually kick to open on the trunk and it's gonna pop it open and you can do that to close it too. Mm -hmm. Can today. you close it really quick first? Yeah, I can do it to close real quick. So just like that, it's gonna close it Nothing. down now. Look Ma, no hands. And then we can open it up with hands. Okay. Just beneath the round dowel. Um, now the trunk is larger than it has been it's before, huge. so you can definitely fit a couple of cases of golf clubs back there, um, suitcases, or you know, anything that you might deem worthy of fitting back there, which some people use uh, a couple of bodies as a reference. Let's see, can you fit? Get in. Uh, I am not going to get in You're there, not gonna, but I I'm going to get in. Hold the camera. I'm All right, gonna Tiff's going to get in the trunk. Let's see. could take a nap in here. If you can't find me at work, you know where to find me now. <laughs> don't, don't close me. <laughs> and if you did get closed in the trunk, there is an emergency release latch, where just like there be? has to be. Oh. So right the release is actually up here up on here. the lid. So I can find it. Oh, I don't... Uh, it's in there. It's in there. We don't need to play with it. They don't need to walk me in. <laughs> As always, graceful, climbing out of the back of a car. It's, all, it's easy to get out of tubes for anyone who's, <laughs> you know, wondering, can I keep bodies in my trunk? Uh, also, you'll find it very easy to fold down the rear seats. Yeah, let's look um, at that. So when you're trying to load something into the trunk for extra storage, you have the handles right here. You can just pull them, and then whatever you've got to slide in there, it's just going to push the seats right down. All right, let's see, can we push them down? Absolutely. Okay. Huh. Oh, look at that. Nothing's been simpler in my life, I swear. Look, even more room. Look, now I can fit a friend in there if I want to lay down. <laughs> and I won't get Absolutely. trapped. Does anyone have any questions as far as the exterior is concerned? I know yesterday we went for a ride. And it was so fun. The inside is super comfortable. Brandon was telling me all about the seats and how they're, they're contour seats and supposed to be super comfortable what about this uh beautiful moonroof so the moonroof on the new 5 series is actually elongated compared to the previous version uh which is a really nice feature it's gonna open up nice and big you're gonna think you're in a convertible <laughs> let's open it can we open it not right now not right now but it's good to let some light in good for some selfies and whatnot so and also outside the car uh we have brand new wheels so we have new wheels for this car uh which are absolutely stunning car, uh wheels it is wheel crush wednesday so it is wheel crush wednesday absolutely wednesday. now let's talk about some of the body lines that we have on this car yeah. now so we now have from the fender here all the way back we have a dual body line so an upper and lower um if you follow that the upper one actually blends right into bmw's famous what we call hoffmeister kink um, and then the lower one actually goes from the front of the car all the way through the tail light. And they incorporated that body line right into the tail light even. Oh yeah, you can kind of see. It's hard to tell with the phone screen, but you can definitely see what you're talking about. Also, if we move around to the back of the car again, this time we're not going to open the trunk and put Tiffany in it. <laughs> but now even on the four cylinder, unlike before, you have a dual tip exhaust system where previously you had two tips on the left side, you now have them separated from each other. And what does that do for the car? Honestly, what it does for the car is it's just gonna make it look better. Um, before, BMW always had the perfect amount of airflow that they needed out of the exhaust system, but they just separated them because that's what our customers and our clientele prefer. So BMW listens is what you're saying. Absolutely. BMW paid very close attention to what our customers said and what they wanted. Obviously, our nice, beautiful BMW logo. Let's do a quick walk around. We have a different style handle as well, not that most people would notice. I noticed. But it's a little bit more comfortable to grab. It's a little bit slimmer with the car as well. So when air is flowing past it, it's going to be a lot quieter 
on the road, as well as you have these beautiful chrome accents. And then talk about the, can we talk about the mirrors a little bit? Yep, so they, did, yeah, so they did also redesign the mirror. This mirror is basically taken right off of the brand new 7 Series. Um, we incorporated the blind spot direction into the glass. Um, and they actually made the mirror a little bit bigger, so it's easier to see out of. We just get a time. You can see the sport line. So also inside the passenger area of this car, you're going to notice the um, lit kick panel right there that says sport line so as standard the new 5 series comes with sport line so that means you're going to get extensions for the seat so for those taller people you can extend that out and you won't have an issue with comfort Ooh. as well as adjustable side bolsters so it's going to kind of feel like someone's there hugging you in the seat <laughs> making sure you don't slide around so what everybody wants is a nice hug when they get in their car exactly and as far as safety is concerned, obviously the 5 Series is a safe car, but... As far as safety is concerned, uh, we don't yet have uh, ratings for U.S. crash tests. Okay. However, BMW does their own crash tests prior to that. Um, so we hold our cars to a higher crash test standard than IIHS and NHTSA. So every single one of our cars in production is 5 star crash test rated. And for those of you who think that we don't have a safe car and that's why they're getting a Volvo or a Mercedes, look at the crash tests online from recent years. We are extremely comparable, if not better. Good to know. Now, when we talk about, you know, purchasing a car and things like that. Obviously we did the test drive yesterday, but I'd really like to know if any of our people watching have questions for you or maybe if there's, you know, little fun facts about the car that you wouldn't get if you kind of just weren't watching our video. Like what are some of your favorite, you know, fun facts about the car in general, not just necessarily the exterior? Uh, some of my favorite fun little facts is like the kick to open, which a lot of people wouldn't know about prior to owning one of the vehicles and seeing someone like myself at the dealership. Mm -hmm. um, also, one of the cool things on this car, a lot of cars don't do, is when the car is locked, it actually locks the gas tank as well, so you can't access it. And then when it's unlocked, you can't access it just the same. Keeps your gas safe, no siphoning or anything like that. Hey, you never know where you're parking, no, right? right. Peace of mind, definitely, um, for Also, sure. one of the cool things on our car now is the auto fold mirrors when you unlock and lock the car. So this is new for our cars. It has always been capable of doing this. We just never let them before. But now we have auto fold mirrors because everyone asks for them. And rightfully so. I would so. ask for them. Yeah, definitely. Like I said yesterday, I'm really not the best driver in the whole world. And I don't know. I'm not going to say I've taken off a mirror, but I've definitely had friends. Careful, Jeff. You don't want to incriminate yourself. <laughs> I didn't do it. It wasn't me. All right. I mean, if nobody has any questions for us, I think that that is pretty much you've kind of covered all of our bases unless you have anything else that you really want to no share and definitely at home. definitely follow our instagram page at bmw gallery norwood because there's going to be a lot of pictures of this car coming up soon definitely going to have some of my pictures from circuit of the americas at the formula one racetrack in austin texas uh you're going to see pictures of us driving around you might even see a video of us doing the automatic parking feature Ooh, maybe we can do that that's a good one for next week Just, and and if you have any ideas for videos that you'd like me and Brandon to do you know definitely send them in let us know we're happy to oblige I know yesterday someone said punch it on route one thinking it was funny and we weren't going to do it and sure sure enough don't request a burnout because it may be given to you let's go do donuts. no donuts let's do donuts <laughs> all right that's all we have for today so unless anyone has any questions I think we're gonna sign off what do you think I think if no one's asking questions, we can say goodbye. Any last words? No. Come drive the new 5 Series. You're going to love it. Bye, guys. Say bye.